welcome back to my channel. Today, we have this <laughs> makeup look. So I know that right now is a really weird time to be even doing something like this, but I actually just really wanted to play with makeup and I was on Instagram and Pinterest and I was just getting really inspired. So I thought I would try to do this very like pink and orange and purpley i don't know what what would we call this i feel like if floral the scent floral had a makeup this is what would come out <laughs> so that's that's what it is <laughs> i use a lot of the same products that i used in my previous video because i do have very limited resources so please be understanding of that. If you guys like these kind of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you guys want to see more of me, make sure to subscribe and also press the bell so that you can get notified every single time I make a video. So now let's see how I did this. Um, also, because our heater or something, I don't know, in the basement is um, very old, if the heater turns on, it goes, so I'm gonna pray that it does not turn on and if it does then we will tackle that problem when it comes <laughs> anyways let's get started so I'm gonna be starting with primer um, I'm gonna be using the same one as the other video and that is the super goop one I realized that this isn't even a primer it's actually just sunscreen um, but I've been using it as primer because it kind of has that same consistency but this is the unseen sunscreen broad spectrum with SPF 40 and I'm going to just apply that all over my face For foundation, I'm going to be going with the MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is an NC15. I've said this previously and I will say it again, I'll say it a thousand times, that I really truly do love this foundation. I have extremely oily skin, so it's very convenient because I don't have to powder after doing foundation, which is something that I always have to do no matter what foundation I use. So because this foundation is pretty good with coverage, um, it's just really nice to use on a daily basis. I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows and as you guys know eyebrows have always been a struggle for me um, but you know it is what it is <laughs> um, I'm gonna first start by lining my brows with the benefit precisely my brow pencil I'm using the color 4.5 After I like to fill my brows with the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint, this is in the color Taupe. One side is powder and the other side is brush. So I like to use the powder side to fill in my brows. And then I use the brush side to create little hair like strokes to make the front side of my brows look a little bit more natural. I then go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow gel. This is my favorite brow gel like I've said before and it's because it just has such a good strong hold and I really 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 need that. <laughs> So I'm going to use actually my blush palette as my eyeshadow today just because I want to have some brighter colors and this is as bright of color as it's going to get so I'm going to actually start with How Deep Is Your Love and apply that all over the lid. I'm then gonna go in to justify my love and I'm gonna start putting that on the mid end of my eye just to give a little bit more dimension. Okay. 
I'm also going to go into Your Love is King. And I just want to add some like depth to the ends because I just have really flat eyes. <laughs> I'm just going to take any clean brush and just kind of like blur out the ends because this is a lot. This is a lot going on. And I'm going to go into the Etude House Personal Color Palette. This is in the Cool Tone Eyes. And I'm going to be using the color Deep Wine. I feel like I still need a little bit more depth. I just want to use it very lightly because this could go very wrong very easily. I'm even mixing it kind of with Your Love is King just to tone it down a little bit. Oh, that's a look. Do you guys see that? Oh my god, that's so... I kind of want to add a little bit of orange, so I'm going to use I Will Always Love You, and I'm going to just put that towards the inner portion. I'm going to put on eyeliner now. The eyeliner I'm going to use is the 3 Concept Eyes Gel Eyeliner. This is in Glitter Red Bean. I've been doing my eyeliner pretty light these days just because... I wear such big lashes that it covers it anyway, so just kind of do your eyeliner however way you want. It's here. So for under the eye, I'm going to go back to how deep is your love and I'm going to just lightly apply that on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go in with justify my love and I'm going to put that towards the end. And mimicking the top, I'm also going to put on I will always love you towards the front. We're going to move on to my lash prep. And as you guys know, I use the Dr. Mascara Fixer. I'm going to start by using the volume up and I apply that on my upper and lower lids. And then I use the long lash and I apply that on my lower lashes. As you guys already know, I like to curl my lashes then because it really helps keep my lashes up. And then I like to set that with the Etude House Lash Perm Curl Fix Mascara in black. For lashes today, we will be using the Ardell Faux Mink Wispies. They are quite bold for a look that is going nowhere, but maybe eventually I can recreate this and go out and do something fun. For my lower lashes, I'm going to go in with the Ink Color Cara Volume Setting, and this is in Black Espresso. And now I'm done with the eyes, we're going to move on to the rest of the face. I'm going to contour with the Marc Jacobs Instamark. This is in 40 Mirage Filter. I like to take the yellow shade and just blend out all the harsh lines because that's not cute. For our blush, we're going to go back to obviously the Love Flush palette and I'm actually going to go with Love Hangover and I'm going to just lightly, very lightly apply that on my cheeks. Okay, so I'm finally going to highlight with the Becca highlighter. This is an opal. Can you believe that I use this little mirror? I literally, like, that's what I'm looking at, I'm like... I 
Okay, honestly, I feel like my inner corners could use a little help. So I'm actually gonna use the Aritam Shine Fixed Eyes, and this is in Coconut Bay. This is like my go-to inner corner highlight. This is gonna just, it's gonna breathe. It makes me sad that I'm not leaving this house. Okay, we finally have the lip. I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs. I don't even know what kind of lipstick this is, but this is in 216 Kiss Kiss Bang Bang Le <laughs> So this is the final look. I am so in love with how this came out. I actually think I want to recreate this when we are done with quarantine. I actually am so happy with how this turned out. Like, I'm kind of shocked right now. Like, you know, with my limited resources, I feel like I'm doing a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.